I have a new video for you guys because if you thought iCarly the show had some gross moments, you won't believe what happened behind the scenes. Today we're going to talk about some of Dan Schneider's worst moments on set of iCarly. These clips show Dan in ways we've never seen him before, and I want you guys to see firsthand what the iCarly staff had to go through. So let's get into it. As you guys know, we've been talking about Dan Schneider and iCarly on my channel for a minute. This is because Dan Schneider created this show back in 2007, and he did some awful things as a director, producer, and writer. I mean, some of the moments he has created are so disgusting and uncomfy, and we've been talking about those on my channel. But today, I want to go behind the scenes and show you guys some of those clips and those moments that you didn't see on the TV, but show who Dan really is. We've talked about some of these moments moments on my channel before, like the one involving Dan and Miranda with the taser. Did she say nice things about me? Because I will tase her if necessary. Uh-oh. I have the taser. We haven't had to use it in a long time. But I said lots of nice things. So I said nice things about you too. Oh. That's going to get on TV. What? That's going to get on TV. <laughs> Did it seem sincere? It seems sincere, right? <laughs> Why would Dan tell her that he's going to tase her? Like, please. I would have been in HR's office right there and then ready to report him. We've also talked about clips where he's gotten physical with these actors. Like the time he gave Jerry a little kiss on the cheek. I write a hat of spoons and we get a hat of spoons. A hat of spoons. <laughs> this is why I'm in Hollywood. Yeah. Eat your cereal, kids. <laughs> like, again, why did he do that? I would have been like, excuse me, sir. Like, why did he like do it so casually? And Jerry didn't even really flinch, which makes me think that he got quite physical with them quite often. So this first clip is going to be pretty difficult to hear. And I'm going to try to up the volume as much as I can. But pretty much you're going to see Jeanette and Nathan very close to each other behind the scenes. Dan actually posted this on his YouTube channel and she is trying to make Nathan do something he doesn't want to do and then he ends up doing it. Obviously it's pretty goofy but it's also very haunting and just creepy to see these kids like backstage so close together. Like what is the purpose of this video? Just do it. No. Do it. I don't want to. Just do it. No. Just do it. No. Just do it. No. Just do it. No. Do it. California girls from unforgettable daisy dupes. Bikinis. On top. Sun kiss skin so hot and melt your popsicle. Uh, 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 uh. Here's another weird clip involving Jeanette McCurdy, and she's backstage with Dan. They seem to be alone, and one thing I noticed here that I wish I didn't was that she doesn't even have shoes on in this clip. Oh my god. Is it TV's Jeanette McCurdy? Uh, we're going to play a little game. Are you ready? Yeah. Where are we? We are at APR work. Right, Carly. ADR, right there. There's, there's the show. Okay, are you, are you ready? I'm ready. All right, ready? Just yeah, do. Ready. Don't think. Just do exactly what I said. Say fort. Fort. Say it three times. Fort, fort, fort. Spell it three times. F O R T. F O R T. F O R T. Say it three times. Fort, fort, fort. Spell it twice. F O R T. F O R T. Say it twice. Fort, fort. What do you eat soup with? A fork. Because ah, I eat it with a spoon. Chinette. <laughs> Stupid! You're so dumb! Ah! Okay, hold up. So was that the worst thing in the world? No, because he was just making her say fork or Ford or whatever was going on there. But the ending was really weird when he kind of like jumped on top of her. And it makes me think of that podcast that Jeanette did where she talks about how the reason why she really doesn't like Dan is because he's verbally, um, you know, very unkind. Um, bad, it certainly is bad parts. I mean, there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of that happens. I, I worked with an incredibly emotionally producer, um, 
like, I mean, even talking about it now, my, my face gets hot thinking of it just Ooh. because something Dan does on set that I really don't like. And I probably would have freaked out the first day was that he tries to scare everyone like a lot. And again, if I was working on set, I would have major anxiety just walking through the studio. Not sure if he's going to pop up with a camera to scare me. So let's go through some clips of him trying to scare Jeanette and Carly. And in this instance, it's Jeanette first, but Miranda was like, uh. <laughs> I mean, that scared me, and I wasn't even there. He was just so loud, and he got right up on her. Um, imagine that being your boss. Oh my gosh, now he has me scared for the next one. Oh. I'm gonna try to sneak up on Miranda. Oh. Miranda, do not act like you were not scared there. Look at her face. She's like, whoa. And I was scared too. He like really likes to sneak up and get really loud really quickly. Again, if he did this to me and I was in that workplace, I feel like I wouldn't be able to work normally after that. Also, is this something that like turns him on? Like, does he like the idea of scaring these people? like actors and feeling like he's in power and control of it. Maybe I'm thinking too deep into it, but he does this a lot. And these are just the recorded clips of him scaring them. Like we don't know what happened without a camera. <laughs> she turned right back around and that's exactly what I would have done. Cause she was so prepared for her line and everything. I'm sure I would have been like, whoa, like I, I can't do my line now. I need like 20 minutes to go chill out and watch some TikToks. In this clip, Dan is going to scare both of them. So here we go. Again, like if my job. Sorry. Keep in mind, studio time is expensive. There are other adults there who are trying to get their job done, and we're over here playing games and scaring and all that. In my mind, this is like low-key bullying. Here is another moment, and it goes by very quickly. So here we go. Oh, okay. Well, that wasn't as bad. I was like, <laughs> but you can see her reaction to Dan was like, whoa, well, like, whoa, he's scary just as is. This is a classic clip where Dan scares Miranda <sighs> for his pleasure. <sighs> yeah, he's just coming in there to sneak on by and just raise your heart level, get the adrenaline pumping. If they weren't scared of him for other reasons, they're scared of him because of these moments. So I must admit to you guys, when it comes to Jerry Trainer, aka Spencer, I love him. I think he is so funny. He reminds me of like a Jim Carrey type. And I just think that he overall has a good personality, good energy. I don't know if he really likes Dan or what their relationship is like, but there are a lot of weird backstage moments where Dan will go up to Jerry and Jerry will just like lift up his shirt. Almost like on command, like he's been trained to do this and I'm going to show you guys a few instances of that. So this is actually from the same clip where Dan went and scared Jeanette just by like walking up to her and she was like whoa and as you guys will see he's going to walk around they're talking about their next season and you know celebrating and such and he walks up to Jerry and he's like okay you know Spencer and <laughs> watch. Stop it. Dan literally said stomach, and then Jerry was like, whoop, no questions asked, just shows him his tummy. Ugh. Here is another clip, just like that one, where he, you know, goes up to Jerry, and he's just like, show me your stomach. So, obviously, behind the scenes, it's very chaotic, very busy. I would, again, be really annoyed if he was slowing down production with these antics. But he goes up to them, and they're just hanging out. Watch his face when he sees him. Oh my gosh, you need to watch that again. The, the... <laughs> The face of disappointment. As soon as he makes eye contact with Dan, he goes like, ugh, like he's so annoyed to see him. Watch. He's like, ugh, you. <laughs> Watch him. He's gonna ask for the tummy. Oh, we don't wanna get copyrighted on that music though. Belly button. That's a real hard 
He says, show me your belly, and he just does it. Does he look happy about it? Not necessarily, but it is very weird in my opinion that he just like, whoo, like goes up on Dan's request. No, I'm not gonna do it for you guys. Don't ask, don't ask. In this next clip, Dan is running around behind set like he always has been, but you guys will see Jeanette is getting her hair and her makeup done, and he asks her like, oh, Jeanette needs all this help or attention or whatever, and she says, I'm just trying to avoid you, and I want you guys to listen Listen very, very closely. How much attention does Jeanette need? <laughs> I was trying to what? I don't know if you caught it there, but she said, I was just trying to avoid you. I was trying to what? Which honestly, I, I it makes sense to me, especially seeing how Jerry's face goes like when he sees Dan, they all obviously don't like him. So this is kind of a random scene. I don't even really know what to take away from it, so maybe you guys will have something, but she is, well, Miranda is helping Jeanette get some salad out of her teeth, and Dan is just like- kind of Greek salad, check her breath. <laughs> check her breath. Check her breath, check her breath. <laughs> she doesn't want that, obviously. I probably could have made a compilation of Miranda asking Dan, please don't put this on YouTube, and there are so many clips of him putting it on YouTube. These children are being paid for what they're doing on iCarly. He should not be able to go and film a video of them, put it on YouTube and make money off of that. It's like, this was not my contract. I don't need the director like shoving his own personal camera in my face. Literally in this clip, she asked him, please don't put it on YouTube. I promise uh, I will not put this on YouTube. Yeah, yeah right. It's, it's fine for them, but it's embarrassing to me. I got green in my teeth. Don't be mean on the comments. What? Seven. <laughs> So I guess it's good that he was at least honest with them that he was gonna put it on YouTube. I still would not have liked it. Here is another random clip of Dan trying to scare Jeanette, but for that one, he failed because she does not seem scared. She's just bopping out. And honestly, I'm surprised with how many people are working behind set. Like, take a look at all these people there. Like, so many adults, yet they all allowed all this feet stuff to go on camera in the show. The amount of disgusting things I've seen from iCarly alone, I cannot fathom that all of these adults were sitting there watching this. Hello, this is Dan Schneider, AKA Dan Warp on Twitter. I'm here at Nickelodeon where no open-toed shoes or sandals are allowed on stage. <laughs> we're about to rehearse iCarly right now. But before we start our rehearsal, do you think that I would be able to attack every main cast member of iCarly and knock them to the ground. Do you dare me? Do you dare me? No, I don't. We'll just see. Oh no. This is that we scene. Oh, we've talked iCarly. about this before. Our crew, get <gasps> ready. Our fine Oliver. Here we go. Oh, so much the music. Crowd. They always have some music bob in there. But I think this is the one where he goes up to everyone and pushes them down to the ground. like for whatever reason, tries to tackle them. Like, getting a little bit physical that I don't, I don't really, yeah, and Jeanette goes automatically to the ground. She's just, <gasps> she's confused, she's confused. Oh, here goes, if I was them, I would have already been on the ground. Like, if I was Miranda, you saw this happening, just get on the ground, girl. <gasps> she's already playing sleep. <laughs> she was already playing like she was asleep. Uh. Here we go. Ah! Hold on. Ah! She's resisting. She's resisting. She's resisting. I hate how he's using that term. Like, excuse me. Oh, and here he goes. Doing stuff with Jerry's bum. Who's next? Oh, Noah. <laughs> Oh no. Oh, the way he said no. Looks like he's like been in that situation before. Oh no, and now he's going back for Miranda. <gasps> Leave her alone, please. Justice for Miranda. She's, oh, exactly what I would do. I would be to the ground. 
Yeah, like, please do not touch me. Please do not. So this next clip is really odd. It's going to be a phone call between Nathan and Dan because Dan is wishing Nathan a happy birthday. And I'm just going to listen to the whole call with you guys so you can just grasp the type of person this man is. I feel like it speaks to his character and how just like high energy and probably difficult it was to be around him and to work with him. So at first you're gonna hear a woman answer the phone. I believe it's his mother, but yeah, here you go. He's calling him and I actually think, um, I actually think that it's illegal to record a phone call without consent, like in this situation in this state. It changes state by state, um, but yeah. So I don't know if you well, could even I'm not just do this legally. Birthday, I'm not lame. Come on, Nathan, answer the phone. Let's go. Nathan Crass, pick up the phone. Pick up the phone, Nathan. Hello? Yes, hello. I'm looking for Nathan Crass. <laughs> Let me see if I can find the other. Put him on the phone immediately. <laughs> Hold up. She already knows who he is by the crazy voice. <laughs> I don't know who that was, but she just called Nathan Nady, and I'm a little embarrassed for him. Shh. Let's not tell Nathan about this. Hello? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Nathan Chris. Happy birthday to you. You play Freddy on a car <laughs> Nathan, it's Dan Schneider. Hi, Dan Schneider. It's a special day. It is indeed. How old are you, sir? I'm 18. Are you excited? I don't know yet. Hey, listen, I think that by law, I'm required to tell you this. I'm recording you right now. Is that all right? Do oh, I have your permission? There we go. Oh, that's perfectly fine. So you're okay. going to stop <laughs> recording this conversation. Well, okay, good. So he did get consent. That's so funny. Well, then it's collateral depending on what your payback is for TPing your house. Hmm. Yeah, but I can also fire you from iCarly, so it's a stalemate, isn't it? You win. <laughs> Happy birthday, Nathan Kress! Ew, why do I feel like he's used that before? Like, when someone doesn't like something, I can fire you, and they're just like, oh, yeah, you can. Um, there's a lot of that happens. I, I worked with an incredibly emotionally producer. Um, you know, he'd say things like, you guys won't, you guys will work, at, you would work at Yogurt Land if you didn't work for me, and he would just scream, how old were you? I was, uh, when I started the show, I was 13. Okay, you win. People in power are protected. You should come by uh, today and say hi to everybody. There are a lot of people who would like to hug you. Uh, I certainly would, but unfortunately I'm leaving for Manitoba in approximately two hours. Oh, I don't know what that is, but it sounds wonderful. It's a hockey game in Canada. Of course it is. So, Nathan, yeah. since it's your 18th birthday, I thought I would tell you a few things that I looked up on the interweb about the number 18. Would you like to hear them? I would love to hear them. Uh -huh. Okay, did you know that... 18 bananas contain over 18,000 calories? That's horrifying. Did you know that 18 minutes is the world's record for the longest time urinating without stopping? That's disgusting. Did you know that Justin Bieber has 18 kinds of shampoo in his shower? Did you know that? Why am I still stuck on the um, bananas? Because if it's 18 bananas, 18,000 calories, that'd be 100 calories per banana. <laughs> no, I did not know that. Well, now you do. Did you know? Did you know that the average adult American male has eighteen hairs on each of his toes? I actually can confirm that. Yep. 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 Did you know that uh, former President Bill Clinton once ate eighteen corn dogs in a half hour? Wow, that's impressive, isn't it? Ew, that's actually so gross. And the foot, like one, of course he knows that. Ooh. Did you know that every government building in Canada is required to have 18 toilets? Huh, I, I, I wonder why. I don't know. It must be something about the number 18. I suppose. Uh, the last one. Did you know that if you add 18 plus 18, then divide it by 18, then add 18, then multiply it by the square root of 18, you get 18? I kind of did know that. I was following that for a little while, and then I kind of lost you. But that's what I figured it would be. Yeah, it, it's not. It's not true at all. I oh, made that. Not? No, I made that one up. Oh, oh, goodness gracious! I thought I was all smart. So I was like, oh, it's gonna be eighteen. No, no, no. You've revealed yourself to not know anything about math. Well, that's a, that's already fully known by most of the world. And this embarrassing moment will be on YouTube. Awesome! Brilliant! I cannot wait. Nathan, I cannot believe you're 18. It seems like only yesterday when I hired you to play a little bit part on Drake and Josh, and then I Carly, and then, uh, you know, the rest is history. But I love you, and I'm very excited that it is Aww. your 18th birthday. It's a big day, and we're all thinking about you here over at Nickelodeon. 
Thank you, Dan. Love you too. And tell everybody I say hey. I will do it. Goodbye, Dan. Bye, Dan Schneider. Happy birthday. I'm not even going to play and act like the end of that was not sweet. That was low-key sweet because he was very kind, and I'm sure they have been through a lot together. Um, so that was that was nice, but it was a, a, definitely a roller coaster and something that could have been a 20-second, like, happy birthday, like, happy 18th, there you go, move along. I have one more clip I want to show you guys, and it kind of involves child labor laws. Not really, not actually, but I want to bring that up because, as you guys know, some states do have laws to protect children who are working, you know, on set, on movies, on commercials, or whatever. There are certain times they are allowed to work, and then they aren't allowed to work because they are too young to have a full-time job when it comes to working on set of like a television show they'll be working like 14 hour days because they have to be in the studio you know for a limited amount of time it's expensive the setup and everything else so these kids end up working very long hours i'm sure everyone on iCarly was exhausted by the end of a shooting day and one of those days dan thought it would be cool to film a moment when miranda is finishing up the work day she seems very exhausted and he's just doing a voice over of the monitor that he is filming and nothing in particular is crazy about this clip but i just find it kind of odd behavior and i think it speaks more to his character dan schneider reporting from the iCarly studio it's late at night nearly midnight and we're filming the last scene of the day miranda cosgrove looking weary from a day's acting as a playful woman brushes her hair when she does look exhausted like you have to give her that she looks tired and out of it a makeup man leans in makes her chin look extra perfect for the scene. This is part of the course for Cosgrove. It happens daily, many times. She smiles, looking upward. She chuckles and smiles at the people, helping her to look so beautiful. She lifts her lips. The woman steps aside. She examines Miranda one more time. Miranda leans forward, then leans back. Then she leans forward again. She puts her hands on the table, thinking about the scene she's about to film. She gestures to a person. She takes something in her hand. What is it? We don't know. Oh, Oh, it's, it's a Mountain Dew. She takes a sip. She swallows. Yes, I'll have another. She drinks, swallows again. She hands the can off to the important person who takes the can away. Now, she prepares, rolls up her sleeve. Only one. Her lips are touched up. She smiles. A lot of you guys are going to be like, what's gross about this? What's weird about it is that this is her boss doing this in a workplace where you were supposed to be professional. Her lips now perfect, ready for acting. She mushes them together in a mushing about way. There they are, like little jewels under her nose. The scene's about to begin. Little jewels under her, her nose? Name, Carly Shea. That is who she will be soon. Not now, though. She's Miranda Cosgrove, because I shoot this video. She stands. She looks in front of her. She thinks. She says something. We don't know what she said. We can only contemplate what it might have been. What will happen next? She will, oh, she almost sits, but she takes out the cameraman, which is me. She faked me out, I admit it. She chats to the person next to her, possibly Jeanette McCurdy, or it could be someone else. Perhaps it's Joe Biden, Vice President of the United States. That's unlikely, but it could happen. She sings something to herself, singing playfully as she prepares for herself. Side note, why was Michelle Obama ever on the show? Why is Joe Biden being brought up by Dan Schneider? Like, please don't even get me into the whole, like, conspiracy with the island and the everything. Like, that stuff, like, really freaks me out. Oof. Like, oof. What is she singing? Do we know? We can only guess. Perhaps it's... She's singing? <laughs> yeah, that's not it. Doesn't match her lips at all. Wait, that's so weird because I feel like the beginning of this video we opened up with that clip of him seeing California girls like when he didn't want to. You remember Nathan and Jeanette, and now we've got Dan singing it too. <laughs> why? Why? Camera. It's a similar shot of Miranda. There she is. It's more beautiful as the scenes about to take place. She smiles, knowing it will be wonderful. She tosses her hair. Her hair has been tossed. She wrings her hands, holding the microphone, preparing for the scene. She turns it upside down, then the other way. Now it is perfectly balanced. This is so weird. This is so weird. Now it's on its narrow side. She doesn't know which way to go. These are the decisions an actress must make during the day. A man points, sticking his hand in the frame. We don't know whose hand it was. It was that man. The man with the blondish gray hair. She tests the microphone. Time to rehearse. She ducks under the table. Where does she go? What's going on? No, she's back. She brushes her hair aside. 
scene is about to begin. She touches her chin, smiles, brushes her hair back, and now I Carly begins. Why do I feel like I was just intruding on everything going on here? Probably because Dan was kind of intrusive with how he made this video and stuff. Like, again, is it the worst thing ever? Not at all. Is it entertaining to watch? Honestly, it was kind of entertaining. But what do you think Miranda felt like after she saw this? It's just weird to know that you're under a microscope and that you've got Dan Schneider, like, here lurking in every corner and you really don't know what he's going to be doing or what he's going to be filming that's going to haunt you later on. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any video ideas for me, here is my email. Feel free to email me. It doesn't have to be related to Nickelodeon or Dan or anyone. It could be anything. So reach out to me and I'm excited to hear it from you. But I'm going to open a little item for my PO box. This is from Zoe B and she is from the United States. So let's go ahead and see what she sent me. I've had like a backlog of letters. So I'm trying to get through my letters lately. And I love when you guys send me these things. Honestly, going to the PO box and just like getting the packages is or the letters or whatever it is. It's just so exciting. They actually know me there um, at the P.O. Box place, but let's see. Oh, wow, this is a long letter. So I might not be able to read this all on camera because usually I'll read the short ones, but if they're really long, um, I usually save them for off camera. So, oh, wow. Oh my gosh, this is actually getting so personal. I'm really excited to read it, but it starts off. Hi, my name is Zoe, and I've recently became a fan of yours through YouTube. I came across the Dan Snyder video in December 2020, and since then I have become a follower. Oh, I love that. Um, I love your personality and you're straight up about yourself and your truths. You remind me of my late brother. Oh my gosh. Um, Zerd for short. Sorry guys, I'm like going, I'm actually going to read this off camera because there's just a lot of detail here and I really want to just take a moment and read it in private because I feel like this is, um, this is what Zoe was going to, you know, intend to happen. So thank you, Zoe, so much. She's from New Mexico. She actually said it here. So I'm going to share it with you guys. Um, I'm going to go ahead and read this after. So I really appreciate you sending in this and just sharing a part of yourself. It's so special to me. And, like, I'm about to go just get off camera and be all completely alone. And um, it's going to be nice to read this and not feel like I am alone because I have a little piece of you guys. So thank you so much, Zoe. And I will see you in a new video soon. Bye, guys.